I think it's very important to understand what veganism is. Many people do not know the meaning of veganism. Um, vegan is a cat, eh? Ye jana bohat saruri hai. Ye bo look hai jo meat, machli, hathe nahi hai. Us bohat vegetarian bhi bolte hain. Shakahari. But veganism. उन्हें कहते हैं तो आ, कोई भी चीज जैसे शहर या दूध या कोई भी चीज या वो रेशम सिल्क का कपड़ा जो बनता है उनको मार के सिल्क के सिल्क वॉम्स को उबाल के उनकी जान लेके वो बनाते हैं फिर शहर जो होता है चुरा के सारा काम मधुमक्खियाँ करती हैं फिर हम उनसे चुरा लेते हैं तो ये जो चीज़ है ये गलत है तो इसको वेगनिज़म कहते हैं मतलब जो लोग एक शहद नहीं खाते या इन चीज़ों में विश्वास नहीं करते सो वीगन सर पीपल हु डू नॉट लाइक टू स्टील थिंग्स फ्रॉम एनिमल्स लाइक यू नो इन ऑफिस दैट यू वर्क हार्ड एंड समबडी एल्स टेक्स credit or somebody else takes the promotion or the money and profits out of your labor it is something like that veganism like bees they work hard their entire lives collecting um, honey and then we just uh, people just smoke them out and they remove them from there and we collect the honey and we sell it. So it is taking credit for somebody else's labor, which is not right. And vegans are people who believe in that. And silk, uh, the cloth, silk cloth is made out of, you know, when silk worms are boiled, it's horrible. Like they have this cocoon, uh, the secretion, and the silk thread is, um, when they are boiled in the water, then the thread is, removed from them and that secretion which is collected by their death it's horrible it's cruel and so long time ago i uh, stopped wearing silk clothes because i don't feel that just looking glamorous for a certain amount of time requires the death of so many worms it is their life it is their we should not do it so vegans basically believe in plant-based products uh, because uh, plants uh, for vegetative reproduction or whatever but the fruits the seeds they fall off and if we collect that then we are not killing the plant we are not entirely uh, destroying the plant so uh, vegans are people who are one step ahead of vegetarians and they do, they do not believe in cruelty to animals and less cruelty to plants if I may say so because I know that's what vegetarians, uh, uh, non-vegetarians say that uh, when we eat vegetables it's cruelty to plants too. Yes it is but it is, it's a little less than killing and slaughtering thousands of pigs and thousands of ants and thousands of uh, cows um, just to enjoy their flesh, their meat. It's kind of like demons, if I may say so. Like uh, We used to believe that uh, the demons used to eat the flesh of human beings and kill them and giants and all that. So that's what we are doing to animals. And, and, and this uh, the whole production system, like they are given birth and all their lives, they live hooked up with no freedom, they are just tortured at one place, even cows, they are kept in one place and uh, they cannot go out and their entire lives they live in the shed and maybe sometimes they are taken outside but they are tied and it's bondage, they, they live their entire lives in bondage and uh, like slaves and, and then they are forced to have you're forced to reproduce again and again and again and we, we, it's not reproducing out of love it is not like they fall in love uh, like we fall in love with someone and our children are reproduced children out of love 
they don't have a choice it is not love no, please watch the movie okja o k j a okja is a korean movie which shows the truth of this um, horrible system uh, in which human beings they they slaughter they annihilate they, they they create so much of pain and cruelty and destruction for animals and they they make these products and they sell them and they in profit you know, what profit are they gaining what will that money do for them it will just create viruses it's karma and nobody can be happy with the money they gain out of the killing of so many of animals i mean if that is their livelihood like producing animals and bringing them up and then killing them there was this uh, i read in kato petition which i often sign so in that it was written that uh, nobody wants to take the job of slaughtering uh, the pigs and it is given to the refugees and uh, even the refugees they they leave because the pigs are like dogs you know they first they these people who are supposed to slaughter them first they need to look after them and then they need to slaughter them and that is uh, unbearable for the human mind and emotion the heart so they say that these pigs they just come and muzzle their up their nose close to their knees and uh, the people who look after them they show their love they are just like dogs and they show so much of love to them and then one day they need to kill them and they know that they are going to kill them so they they feel and uh, they feel that this life is unbearable and they can't do it and even chimpanzees you know who are trained to for these scientific tests and these medicines and uh, the vaccines and and then after that they are just left bleeding and uh, they, the, the, uh, if the vaccine or the medicine has a bad effect on them they are just left like that they are not cared for and nobody bothers about them and it is horrible it is cruelty to animals so these things uh, we should that is why i think that no matter how much money we get we are not happy because it is karma karma comes back to us and um, so i think more and more people are becoming vegans and they have to understand the fact that uh, this cannot go on and i think the universe is uh, coming back to us and giving us these viruses that you have killed so many animals now it's your time to die because this is not the way uh, i think this is not the way god created the world and life on earth god created human beings and plants and animals to love and care for each other and live in this beautiful symbiotic relationship uh, in which we support and love each other we are not supposed to uh, make money out of their death some people even do that with their own relatives they kill their relatives and they well they make money out of them i read it in a newspaper that some cocky killed his sister in law and he uh, surrendered the body as the body of a terrorist and he got a lot of money out of it made a lot of uh, name fame and money out of it so this is what people are this is, this is how horrible i mean inhuman um, not such kind of people are not they should not be called human beings and they should not actually uh, inhibit this earth and if we i think we all should it's time that people are coming together everywhere in the world to settle this once and for all that our lives are not to be lived as slaves uh, to just bow down our heads and uh, and uh, unconditionally accept this torture this humiliation and this uh, horrible life which certain power uh, intoxicated people force us to live and it is time that we are
going to be victorious and always be good. I don't know how it's going to be, but then I think the hatred is enough to kill them because nobody can live in hate. Everybody wants to be appreciated and, and there was a time when people used to bow down before these officers. They used to think that if we say anything, then they'll kill us. But in any case, they're killing us. So, uh, so people are saying that why not? I mean, so many men are being slaughtered for being transgender or for being gay or lesbian or whatever. It is, it is their choice. Uh, it is a form of love. And if the love is pure and true and honest, then there's no problem in it. Nobody has a right to kill them. So, um, I think it is time for us to decide and take a decision and stand by it and uh, come together to change this world and make it a better place. And I hope you'll be strong and we'll support each other to change this planet into a much better place. Thank you.